Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kamaya healing spray and I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So I hope you guys have been well. Thank you guys so much for booking all of your personal readings with me as well as all your tips. All of that truly helps me out so, so much. So um, in the middle of filming um, one of the other videos that I did today, I got a call um, from my mom um, asking for my aunt when she could um, meet up with me to get a reading. So it's just crazy um, how many reading requests I'm getting um, now and especially, you know, being um, COVID-19 vaccinated and being able to like meet up with more and more people. Um, I love being able to do more in-person readings. Um, again, you know, I do have Zoom readings as well as digital only um, readings via PDF. Um, lots of options for you guys. So definitely check all that out in the down box below. So I think we are good on shuffling. Let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what's going on with the collective today. All right, so we got five cards out already. So first off, we have a Queen of Cups in reverse. So someone is dealing um, with an emotional karmic, someone who you know cries to get someone to stay, someone who pretends to be truly loving but is actually very selfish. And um, we also have a King of Pentacles here. So there's a wealthy man here that, you know, invested in a queen of cups in reverse, um, invested in someone who ended up being a karmic energy. Um, and there's no new beginnings in this relationship. We have an ace of wands in reverse. Um, ace of wands in reverse to me also always has like STD, STI connotations. Um, so if that resonates for you, take it. If not, go ahead and release it. Next, we have the chariot. Because of what happened in this relationship, and you know learning that this person was selfish and um learning who this person truly is um this king of pentacles is working on their own confidence working on their own balance within themselves um to walk away from this relationship with the last card out the four of swords um this king of pentacles has really spent a lot of nights restless trying to figure out what their next move was um and you know really afraid to leave this relationship i feel like this person had a lot of abandonment issues and you know didn't want to be left alone okay let me have three more cards um but you know the longer they stayed with this queen of cups in reverse the more hurts and betrayal and lies um, that they ended up being in. So they knew that they had to put a death to this relationship. It was time to finally move on so that they can become happy again. Um, with the nine of wands here, they had to close out this toxic cycle. They couldn't keep themselves trapped in this spiritual jail that they put themselves in anymore um, because they deserve a two of cups. They deserve a true and happy everlasting love with someone who is going to invest and fill their cup of love just as much as they want to fill someone else's. At the bottom of the deck, we have eight of swords. So like I said, this person they kept themselves trapped in the situation for a long time. I definitely, like I said, I feel this person definitely had abandonment issues. Um, and that's why they stayed in this relationship way longer than they needed to. Um, but you know, this relationship and staying stuck, pretending that they were stuck to this person, tied to this person, that they had to be with this person, it really just made um, their life worse and worse. Um, their mental anguish, their mental health, everything is just deteriorating right now. Um, with the Knight of Wands, I feel like this person definitely had a player mindset and this Queen of Cups, um, they basically reassured them that, you know, um, you know, I love you and we can be together, but I'm not going to keep you tied to me. You know, if you want to date around, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Um, this person knew, they basically like sacrificed their own boundaries um, and let them do whatever they want, thinking that it was going to keep the relationship um happy and being in an open relationship but um in the end it became imbalanced um you know i think both parties you know obviously we're allowed to date other people but by keeping it too open um you know it caused a crack in the foundation and it just made this open relationship crumble 
with the Queen of Pentacles here, I think this King of Pentacles knows who they want to be in their next relationship with. Someone who's going to equally balance themselves out. Someone who is willing to invest in them as well as the relationship um, just as much as they did too. There's going to be equal give and take in this new um, relationship. With the Three of Cups in reverse, there's not going to be any more third party situations. Um, this King of Pentacles wants a stable committed relationship um, with this queen of pentacles um, no more open relationships no more being a player um, they're over that stage in their life where you know they just want to be young and have fun um, with the tower moment here getting hurt by this queen of cups really caused a tower moment in their life and forced them to grow up and not want to be that any way anymore you know it really forced them to heal because under that we have the ten of cups they truly want a happy relationship and they you know they want something new with someone else so i love that i am being called to my work here oracle deck so if this is your person whoever you're thinking of when watching this video um i'm gonna ask your spirit guides for some advice for you um on what you could be doing to help um, bring this connection closer together if you are the queen of pentacles to this king of pentacles so spirit um what advice and guidance can, do you want to give my collective today um regarding the situation um what can my collective be doing to help bring this relationship into union please let us know all right <laughs> Okay, so we have four cards that just came flying out. Nope, we have five. So first off, we have Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So I think this is about paying attention to your intuition and what your soul is being called to do. If you're ever in a relationship and you feel confused, you feel like you can't stand in your truth and you're hiding who you truly are just to satisfy um, the other person, um, this card is meant to ask you to step into your you know, queen of swords mindset and always be honest and always tell your truth. And you know, if you aren't answering that calling deep inside yourself, you're not being true to yourself and you're not attracting the right partner for you. Next, we have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So very similar to this warrior woman card. Um, this is just about trusting your journey, trusting that everything that you're doing in your life right now is meant to happen and meant to bring you on your soul's true path. So trust that you are doing everything in your power um, to get you where you're meant to be. You know, if you're hurting other people or trying to manipulate situations to go a specific way, know that the universe will work against you so that you stay on your right path so when bad things keep happening to you and you think you're going through a streak of bad luck it's really the universe trying to nudge you back on your true path next we have boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries so like i said this queen of cups in reverse had very poor boundaries and you don't want to embody that same energy you want to decide what is going to be best for yourself you know i want a stable commitment i want to be in a relationship with only one person because eventually down the line you know i want to get married i want to have a husband i want to have children set your boundaries and be firm about them don't settle for an open relationship if that's not what you want next we have mintakin longing for home belonging the original light workers so with the blue from this card i think this is about focusing on your throat chakra um, i would definitely do some meditation do some spiritual baths and really focus on what is quieting your voice you know really looking inside and seeing where you can apply some like healing energy and try to really Figure out what is home to you, what makes you feel comfortable um, with speaking your truth and trying to embody that energy whenever you have something to say. And next we have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to 
fit in. Like I said, just about, you know, trying to change yourself because you think your partner wants you to be a certain way. Never dim the actual light that is inside of you and it is shining. Um, just because someone doesn't approve of how you carry yourself, it's not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of how they see themselves. And that is honestly not your problem. So I thought I only had five cards. It looks like I have a sixth one and we have Urama. Oh, Im Rama, sorry. It says, where are you being called to journey to? So again, I love all these cards. That's why I always feel drawn to pull from them. I think you're definitely going through a spiritual awakening right now. You know, the person that you love, you know, they fell for a karmic and ended up being in separation from you. This is about you know, really accepting your life for how it is and knowing that you and your true life partner, um, the person you're supposed to end up with, you have your own journeys to live. So it's about following your own soul's path and accepting what is happening in your life for yourself without trying to control things too much because nothing that is meant for you can ever be taken. So listen to your intuition, listen to your heart and, you know, glide through life without um, much like struggle or effort or wanting to hurt and manipulate other people. That is the only way to stay on your soul's true path. All right. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reading. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel and as well as um, get our videos out to more and more viewers. Um, if anything resonated and you are brand new, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.